Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SRP with IK. Hope you're all doing good. Today's topic is on the in-process inspection, which is basically integrated between the PP and uh, QM module. So in the in-process inspection, we basically discuss about uh, the 03 inspection lot, uh, which has the inspection type as uh, 03 for the in-process inspection. And this basically is used in order to uh, evaluate the quality uh, inspection or maybe the characteristics of the product that you are manufacturing. So let's uh, get into the topic. So here in this slide, you can see the overall process uh, of how the manufacturing process takes place uh, right from the demand creation until the uh, completion of the quality inspection. In the previous video, we discussed about the 04 inspection lot. So this inspection lot, it gets created basically upon the goods receipt of the production order or the process order. So once the manufacturing has been completed and the goods has been moved from the shop floor uh, into the quality inspection. So that's where we will uh, have the 04 lot created and then process it uh, to evaluate the characteristics of the product that has been manufactured. But in this topic, we are going to discuss about the 03 inspection lot or also called as the in-process inspection. So if we look at the stage where this uh, in 03 inspection lot gets created, that will be created as soon as we release the process order or the production order. So if we start with the uh, complete cycle starting from the demand plan, and then we will have the planned orders uh, created based on the MRP run. And these planned orders will get converted into a process order and the or the uh, production order depending on the business scenario. So as soon as the process order or the production order gets created, the uh, 03 inspection lot will not be created instantly. But only when we release uh, the process order or the production order, that is where we will have the 03 inspection lot generated in the SAP. So the purpose of this uh, inspection lot is basically to evaluate the characteristics uh, of the material or the product that we are manufacturing during the manufacturing process itself. In the 04 inspection lot, this is used basically to uh, perform the quality checks once the product has been manufactured. But in case of the 03 inspection lot, we are going to take some samples during the manufacturing process and then perform few quality checks based on the characteristics as needed. So for the 03 inspection lot, we do not need to wait uh, for the stock to be posted into the quality inspection, but it can be taken on a timely basis. Let's say we have few inspection points set up in the uh, quality plan, okay? So which means that for every one hour or maybe for every uh, few hours or uh, during the uh, production process, the quality in inspector will have to pick a sample and then evaluate the characteristics uh, on that particular sample. Okay, so here uh, in the 03 inspection lot, we will not have the stock posting, but we will just have the uh, evaluation of the characteristics, let's say the result recording, and then the usage decision. So let's get into SAP and uh, see how this works. Okay, so here uh, I'm in SAP. So let me go to MD04 and this is my test material. So right now we have a requirement against the safety stock of uh, 300 and we have an available quantity of one available in the stock. So we are shortage of uh, 299 pieces. So now I'm going to run MRP. And now go back to MD04 and refresh. So we have a planned order created for the uh, deficit quantity of 299. So now I'm going to convert this planned order into a production order. So this is the production order. And in the assignment tab, so here we have a field for the in, uh, inspection lot. So this is the place where we will have the 03 inspection lot triggered as soon as we release the production order. Okay. So for now, let me just uh, save it. Refresh. And here is my production order. 
and if I go back into the production order, you can see that the inspection lot is not yet created. Why? Because we have not released the production order yet. So before we get into the creation of the uh, inspection lot, let's take a look what are the prerequisites needed. So let's take a look at the master data setup. So the first thing is that we need to make sure that the material master has been enabled with the 03 inspection type in the quality management view. So here in the quality management view, once we go into the details of the inspection setup, so this is where we are going to assign the inspection type as 03. So in our previous uh, video, we have discussed about the activation of 04 inspection type. If you would like to have the 03 inspection lot activated, so this is where you have to come down and uh, enable the inspection type as 03. So this is basically for the in-process inspection. So let's say for the same material, you would like to have uh, both inspection types like the 03 and also the 04. So 04, you know, it is basically for the uh, inspection after the goods receipt against the production order. So you can enable those two in, uh, inspection types here in the same uh, view. Okay, so for now I've just uh, enabled the inspection type as 03 and make sure that it has been marked as active. So once the setup is done, so in this uh, inspection type 03, we do not require uh, to create a quality inspection plan. Okay, so the quality inspection plan or the quality plan, it is basically used uh, for the goods receipt uh, uh, inspection in the 04 inspection type. But for the 03, we do not need an inspection plan. Instead, if we take a look at the routing, so let me go to the routing CS02. So in the routing, we basically define the operations uh, uh, that has to be performed in order to manufacture the product. So for the operation where the uh, inspection should be enabled, so uh, in that particular operation, we need to enable the control key as PP06. So the PP06 control key, let me show you that. So here with the PP06, as you can say, it talks about the in-house production with inspection characteristics. And if I go into the details of that, of the PP06, you can see that the inspection characteristics are made mandatory for this. So whenever you're going to use the control key as PP06, you have to assign the inspection characteristics to it. So make sure that you have the inspection type 03 enabled in the material master and also make sure that the operation in the uh, routing has the control key as PP06 or maybe if you are using a customized or a Z control key, make sure that you have the uh, inspection characteristics activated here uh, in the configuration of the control key. Okay. So if I select this operation and now click on the inspection characteristics. So this is where we are going to assign the characteristics that have to be evaluated as part of the inspection process on the 03 inspection lot. So here I'm going to measure the length of the bulb and then I have maintained the, ca the category as a quantitative characteristic. So since I have a measured value that has to be evaluated on this particular operation or the characteristic, I have maintained it as a quantitative. Let's say in case of a quality, uh, maybe let's talk about the uh, paint. So if the paint has been applied properly on the product or not, so if it is yes or no, so such kind of uh, characteristics will be termed as a qualitative characteristics. So for the qualitative, we are not going to assign any values. But whereas in case of a quantitative, we are, we are going to assign the tolerance value as well as the lower limit and the upper limit also as well. So let me take you that. So if I select the characteristic and then click on the details. So here we can see the details under this particular uh, characteristics. So if I go into the quantitative data, I've maintained the target value as 100 millimeters. So my measured value, I mean, uh, my target is basically to achieve 
the 100 millimeter of the length but whereas the dv i mean there could be few deviations in the manufacturing process so the uh, permissible limit is basically the lower limit can be up to 98 mm and the upper limit is 102 mm so if the actual measured value lies between these two values the upper limit and the lower limit so then that particular characteristic will be considered as an accepted uh, value but if the value lies abo above or below this particular range the lower limit and the upper limit then the automatically the characteristic will be rejected by the system so let me go back okay that is it i mean for the 03 uh, inspection we just need uh, two setups one is the update of the inspection characteristics in the operation and then the assignment of the 03 inspection type in the material master so i'm going back let's go to md04 enough i'll try to release the production order before that these two materials are basically batch managed so i will have to assign a batch for that manually but if you are interested to know about the batch determination then uh, please watch the other videos under the playlist of the batch management so these two are the batches for these two raw materials and now i'm going to click on release so if you see here as soon as we release the production order we have the inspection lot generated by the system so now i'm going to save this refresh and now you can see the status of this production order updated as re which means for released so now let's say that the operation has uh, been uh, initiated and the manufacturing is in progress and now it's part it's time for the quality inspector basically to uh, pick some samples and look at the characteristics in it so he basically will go to the transaction qa32 and here the inspection lot origin it should be 03 for the in process inspection and then i'm going to provide the material so my option here under the list settings it would be select only inspection lots without a usage decision and in this particular date range execute so here is the inspection lot that we just created so if i select the inspection lot and go to the results recording so as you can see here this is this specification that has been defined in the routing of the material right uh, so in the operation we assigned the lower limit and also the upper limit so now i'm going to inspect one and uh, let's say the measured value is 99 so you can see that the validation has been automatically accepted by the system okay enough if i open this characteristic for processing and modify the result let's say we'll keep it out of the range so i'll keep it as 103 enough it has been rejected by the system itself why because the actual value does not lie within the specified limit so now i'm going to update the value let's say 101 it has been evaluated and then click on save so the result recording part has been completed and the next step is basically to perform a usage decision so now we can see there is an information message saying that the order is neither completed nor confirmed right it means that this particular production order it is still in progress right or the operation is still not confirmed yet it means that the operations are still in progress so in that case do we actually need to perform the usage decision saying that the inspection lot has been accepted if so what if in the next batch 
where we pick the samples maybe by the end of the day there are a few deviations right so in in that case a usage decision accepted code should not be marked on this particular inspection lot why because we have observed a deviation in the second sample so for that reason the system is going to just warn us with this message saying that it has not been completed yet but that is not a showstopper for us uh, for the process but we can still uh, ignore and uh, proceed but the uh, standard process is basically to wait until the so the operations are uh, finally confirmed and then you have to go ahead and mark the usage decision as accepted but for now i'm going to skip that so here we can see the specified limit and also the actual value and now i'm going to mark it as the usage decision has been completed with the acceptance code and here you can see uh, we do not have a tab for the stock posting why because in the in process inspection we will not have uh, the flexibility to post uh, the stock why because the in process inspection lot is basically created to uh, evaluate the samples but not the final product so for that reason we will not have the stock tab here but whereas if you take a look at the 04 inspection lot we will have the other tab for the stock posting that's where we will basically move the stock from quality in inspection to unrestricted based on our usage decision so for now i'm going to save the ud so the usage decision has been made and now the lot disappeared so this is not going to create any impact on the production order right why because in the 04 inspection lot once we perform the usage decision the stock will directly move from the quality inspection into the unrestricted use we are not in the stock we are just evaluating the results right so for that reason there is no impact on this so that is how basically the in process inspection works